crackberry.com. Yeah, I'm, I'm Alan Brenner, Senior Vice President of the BlackBerry Platform Group at Research in Motion. And I'm responsible for the end-to-end -end BlackBerry platform. In particular, this involves the BlackBerry Enterprise software and the BlackBerry Internet service. We kind of deliver the mail. <laughs> Among other things, things like BlackBerry App World, um, our, the new Twitter application, our integration with Facebook, MySpace, uh, BlackBerry Maps. Yeah, wherever you've got a you know end-to-end -end delivery of service to the device from and through our infrastructure with partners. Yeah, we're really excited about the introduction of voice over Wi-Fi for MVS. We think this is, uh, you know, kind of seals the deal for, um, you know, for for MVS as an opportunity for our enterprise customers. The uh, you know the MVS service itself is is a really convenient, really effective way for um, voice services to be delivered into the enterprise. You can make, take, transfer, hold a call from your BlackBerry as if it were your desk phone. And now you can do it over Wi-Fi, whether it's a corporate Wi-Fi network or a hotspot at a Starbucks or in-home Wi-Fi networks. Just really convenient. Uh, it runs in conjunction with BES5. And, uh, you know, we'll, we will reach out to our corporate partners through our carrier channel. A lot of the skits are almost entirely get sold through our carrier channel. And uh, you know we'll get into some you know uh, serious sales training activities um, internally and with our partners. Uh, we'll promote this to uh, to you know integrators and um, VARs. Uh, you know generally take it out through every channel we work through. I expect it's going to get a lot of interest real quickly. It's hard for me to calculate the the uh, impact on our com our, our competitors, but. I do think this reinforces the value proposition for our customers with, with BlackBerry. It has a kind of viral quality to it. Um, once I have MVS support on my device, I'm able to uh, connect with my colleagues without having to keep track of or remember or update my address book with their latest mobile numbers. I can just look them up in the corporate directory. Uh, so every time somebody else from the enterprise joins the service, it's good for me as a user. Uh, and so I'm out there promoting it, uh, not only to customers, but to my colleagues at work. Uh, so I think the viral quality is going to help promote this and, um, and the convenience uh, to the user and the, ec the economic benefits to the IT organizations make it a really interesting you know, uh, complement to what we already do well around push email and BlackBerry Enterprise software. Yeah, it's it's uh, it's 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 really uh, done well over the last year, and and this seems to be you know picking up steam in a way that has us very excited. The um, uh, we're in 52 countries, uh, localized in six languages. We've got about 20 million users now, and we're seeing about about a million downloads a day, and uh, the numbers are picking up steam pretty uh, pretty nicely. We're going to be expanding the range of uh, payment types that we support over the next several months. Sometime later in the summer, you'll see support for credit card billing, as well as we'll start to roll out uh, carrier billing integrations with partners. So we're going to help our developers uh, through those um, moves. Also, with the support of in-app payment that we introduced uh, at the I'm sorry, we announced at the BlackBerry Developer Conference in, in, in the fall. We'll be rolling that out. I think we're in beta right now, closed beta. Um, and uh, uh, the, the advertising platform that allows, through a single API, access to any of several uh, ad networks. That's going to really, all those moves together, give developers many more uh, tools to monetize their applications. And we'll see bumps, I think, in both interest on the paid side and the free side. We're seeing, you know, I don't know the exact number, but something like, you know, a couple, three hundred new applications a week uh, these days. And uh, interest seems really high. You know, the, to be able to hit 52 countries uh, with a single push to a portal, 
that's that's a compelling opportunity for developers and our country's our country scope is growing all the time and with new payment types it's going to be a big win the more the the store uh, shows the progress the more we you know it's a network effect kind of thing it's going to attract everybody so i'm optimistic about about adoption in all directions Games are, games are definitely a focus for us, uh, and um, while I, I don't have kind of device roadmap information to tell you, uh, I do think uh, we will, you know, continue to pay attention to that space and, uh, you know, continue to strengthen the platform to support it, but you'll have to stay tuned on, on sure. next actions. We, you know, we are um, investing uh, to continue to strengthen our platform in, in basically every direction. We are obviously a great communications platform, but we are also a great multimedia platform. Uh, you know, we've been, uh, for example, through our MediaSync application supporting integration with Windows Media and iTunes uh, for multiple media types. Our BlackBerry Messenger service is a great communications application, but one of its strengths is you can communicate about and with um, multiple types of media. So I, I don't think you can, um, you know, I don't think you can uh, choose one over the other. I think, I think it's all of the above and make them all work together really well. And that is definitely one of our strengths, that we, we take care to make sure that the experiences on the device work across the applications and work across the media types, providing that for our own applications as well as to developers to build um, applications that do the same kind of deep integration. Uh, and integration is really critical not only because the apps need to work together, but because we need uh, to make our partners uh, have the same kind of experiences that we have. That's, I think, one of the things that attracts developers to BlackBerry, that you can deliver such rich integration ac across uh, third-party services and the BlackBerry core applications. I mean, there's a very small number of applications that we build ourselves. Uh, but most of the application development going on for BlackBerry right now is, uh, is third-party driven. 6,000, 6,500 apps in App World alone, and we have many other channels for developers to get to market as well. Uh, there's a, you know, thousands of applications out there that uh, serve one, uh, one requirement or another that we're not involved in. Now, we tend to build, you know, we, we've built a few apps ourselves, uh, you know, above the core, core OS, things like, like Facebook and uh, MySpace and uh, uh, Twitter, for example. But we're doing this mostly uh, uh, to showcase the platform, to show what can be done. Uh, to One of the things we've committed ourselves to over the last, last few years is to really promote development for BlackBerry and to um, support the developer community and using it through things like our developer conferences and much improved collateral on our web, our web uh, presence. And the, the development of a few applications that showcase the integration in the platform is one of the tools we're using to uh, push the envelope. Yeah, I, I do think the memory, memory, uh, you know, memory requirements for the applications is something very much on our radar. This is another one of those cases where I, I don't have a, a roadmap to tell you, sure. but it is obviously a, a requirement that's on our agenda. Uh, I don't think you'll see us support running applications off of SD cards because of the, um, you know, they're, they're removable, right? And uh, you want you want to take care to make sure that someone can't uh, insert a, a misbehaved application um, post installation. So uh, uh, that's something that we got to be very careful about. But but uh, yes, we do need we do recognize the the growing sort of requirements for, for capacity and uh, it's, it's, it's in our planning, uh, planning horizon. First handset you ever owned? Uh, Blackberry or not, it's okay. Uh, <laughs> wow, a, uh, it was probably a, G, a G, GTE device, I don't know. Interesting. Okay. But I, I have to say I, 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 I owned the first Blackberry. Blackberry.com